Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure. So, a very good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to today's session. So, our speaker for today is Mr. Gagandi, and he's product engineer in Materialize, and he has expertise in our uh, most common software we all use in planning Mimix. So, over to you, Gagan, for your presentation. You can share your screen. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, thank you for the introduction, ma'am. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Gagan, and uh, I'm an application engineer from Materialized Malaysia. And today, I'm going to give an overview of our softwares uh, for MIS and ProPlan. MIS is Mimix Innovation Suite, uh, which is a designing software. And also, uh, you can use that for a planning. And then we have a software called ProPlan, which is used for CMF ProPlan, uh, for CMF planning, sorry. Yes. Uh, so before jumping into the main content of the presentation today, uh, I would like to give you a brief introduction about our company Materialize. So Materialize was established in 1919 when our uh, founder, Mr. Fried, uh, saw one of the 3D printing machine at the research institute in Bremen, and he immediately re realized the huge potential of the technology. Since the research institute he was working for at the time was unable to invest in 3D printing. So Fried purchased one of the first commercial available 3D printer, started his own company, Materialize. So while exploring the possibility of 3D printing, he immediately focused on application rather than the machine. So together with his team, we found out that software and the design of the part to be printed were crucial to ensure a good quality for the printed products. So it's not only about the 3D printing, the end product is also depend upon the software which you are using to print. So it can be a pre-surgical model or it can be an implant. So it's all depend upon the software you are using for designing. Meanwhile, after 30 years, so uh, this year we are completing 32 years uh, of building the company to what it is now. Materialize is a global active company with over 1200 people working across several continents. We all work toward the same mission that is to use our competencies and 3D technology to create a better and healthier world with a personal touch. So we don't manufacture or sell the printers. So if you, are, if you search Materialize in Google, you will... Uh, you will find uh, or if you search a 3d printing company or a best 3d printing company so materialize will come so we don't manufacture or sell the 3d printers we but we help our customer with the services and software tools that allow them to use 3d printing for a specific purpose so innovation is our focus therefore we continue to spend a significant part of our total revenue on r d and has several potential pending <clears throat> Uh, so, materialized serves in different market for industrial medical consumer application. So, our 3D printing software segment provide a software tools to our customer that allow them to run their 3D printers and additive manufacturing plants. So, our software program called Magix and Streamix are the golden standard in the industry and allow you to get the most of your 3D printing plant. So, this is our first uh, market. And our industrial production segment benefit from manufacturing plants containing more than 130 industrial grade printer uh, to provide prototype and additive manufacturing parts for industrial and consumer market. So materialized manufacturing, if you uh, if you want a services, not only the software, if you want a services from us, we can also provide you the services. Uh, so our manufacturing plant is there in Belgium, in our headquarters, as well as in our Germany office. So we have more than 130 uh, industrial printer there. 
where uh, we can design your cutting guides, jigs, and also plan your surgeries for you. Our third segment is the medical segment, which serve our medical device companies, hospital, as well as Gitmia, with both software and services. So in the next slide, I will go into more detail regarding the segment. So in order to give you more comprehensive overview, let me explain our field of activity within our medical segment. So we supply a solution to three customer group, academia, researchers, medical device companies, and hospitals. So in this slide, I'll be talking about the, the, the solutions that we provide. So materialized solution, uh, in, in the space of virtual planning, uh, as, as you can see here, the materialized planning pyramid, this pyramid refers to the level of plannings required in terms of complexity of the case and also how commonly it's been employed. So across the line, materialized solution from 2D planning to patient specific implant, either it's software or design, device itself. So uh, in this slide, I'll be talking about our pre-planning software, our pre-planning solution. For CMF, uh, for orthopedic, we have a software called OrthoView, which helps orthopedic surgeons to plan their surgery. Similarly, for CMF, we have a software called ProPlan. So ProPlan is a, is a software specifically designed to allow surgeon to more accurately plan critical clinical decision. So this is the typical workflow of our ProPlan software. So it's basically a planning software. You have a CVCT of the patient. You can import it that into our software, which help you to convert the 2D images into 3D model. So once you have that model, you can use the pro plan software in the third stage here, where you can plan your surgery. So the surgeries which involve, uh, which you can do using the pro plan software are orthognetic, reconstruction, and distraction. Though these three, uh, so these three uh, surgeries you can uh, plan in the software. So once you have the final planning, what you can do is you can do a kind of reverse engineering using the same software where you can design a splint. So once you have the splint, you can directly export the file uh, as a STL and you can directly print that model. So coming to the uh, the procedures, what we can do in or uh, in pro plan software. So first procedure is orthognetic planning. So the process start with a composite model, as I've explained in this slide. So first we have a CBCT. You can import that CBCT into a software called Mimics, where you can convert the 2D file into 3D model. So once you have the 3D model, you can import it into the pro plan software, and this is how it starts. So first is the composite model. So what you can do here is you can combine your 3D model from the CBCT and your scanned model, your either intraoral scanner or impression scanner. So you can superimpose both the models and you can create a composite model out of that. So once you have that composite model, you can do a cephalometric analysis. So under the cephalometric analysis, we have a list of all the standard uh, analysis, which which you generally do. And also, uh, not only the standard one, but if you want a customized analysis, that also you can create uh, using the software. Uh, another point here I want to add in the under the cephalometric analysis is, so once you, uh, once you, uh, once you set the landmarks onto the, onto the, oh, sorry, onto the maxilla and mandible, as you can see in this fourth images. So you can also, uh, the software will update a file, a Excel file where it will show you the exact position or current position of a, of us uh, of your patient. So after the planning, the Excel file will automatically update and it will tell you the change in the uh, in the in the position of maxilla in the position of mandible. So that Excel file you can export and you can share it with your other surgeons and you can discuss the planning. Uh, uh, with, with your colleagues also. After that, uh, we have a, uh, after the cephalometric analysis, the third step is a virtual planning. Under virtual planning, we have a osteotomy. So under osteotomy, we have all the 
standard osteotomy is available as a part of the library like lefort 1 lefort 2 lefort 3 for your mandible for your maxilla and then bsso genoplasty for your uh, mandible uh, not only this if you are working on something which is not a very uh, conventional surgery so those type of osteotomies are also possible where you can customize the cuts where you can customize your osteotomies so those things are also possible here in the software after that you can also do the occlusion registration where you can take a bite from an intraoral scanner and you can import it, import that in the, you can also import that file into the proplan software where you can do the occlusion registration after that you the repositioning part is your actual surgery like actual surgery where you can move your mandible maxilla according to the plan so once you have all these steps uh, the last step is your safe soft tissue simulation. You can also see how the patient will look like uh, after the surgery. So uh, you can also see the movement of the soft tissues. Uh, and once you are happy with your planning, you can export, the, you can, uh, in the final step, you can design the split. And once you have the splint, you can export the file as a STL file and you can directly print it. So this is a small video of the overview of orthopedic surgery. So this is the first step where I'm converting my 2D file into 3D. You can also trace the nerve. So this is I'm creating a composite model where I'm superimposing the intraoral scanner and my CBCT 3D model. So as you can see here, so there is a library available uh, of all the standard uh, cephalometric analysis as a part of uh, uh, as a part of uh, ProPlan. So this is the osteotomy. You can also measure the planes. So once uh, so once the the repositioning is done, so it will uh, software will automatically update your your Excel file or your cephalometric analysis file. So as you can see here, delta uh, delta three D show uh, it shows the change the change at that particular point, and you can directly export this as an Excel and you can share it with your colleagues. So this is the pre operative this is the post operative soft tissue. So this is a post operative and pre operative uh, part analysis. So it will show you how much is the changes. And this is the last part. So it's a pretty automatic part. You just need to define the landmarks onto the tweet and the software will automatically create the split. Hi, uh, can I interrupt you for a second? Yes. Uh -huh, the, uh, 
like after finishing uh, that color indication uh, there were there was a color indication of another slides in the lateral view prior to this uh, this one ma'am yeah this and the one uh, prior to this one so is it indicative of uh, anything these color indica uh, indicate something any kind of yes, change and stress yes, or anything yes, can you so, uh, written that please yes. thank you sure so ma'am this one is the pre operative this one is the post operative right so what we are doing here is we are superimposing pre operative soft tissue and post operative soft tissues yes. and this color uh, indicates the change so as you can see here 0.6 1.2 1.8 1 right so this is in a mm mm-hmm. okay so the green area shows the difference in uh, from pre operative to post operative somewhere between 0 to 0.6 Okay. and then uh, orange area shows the difference is 1.2 to 1.8 similarly the gray area shows the gray area shows the difference is more than 3 mm okay yes fine so, yeah so this red area shows that the difference is in somewhere between this um, uh, 3 to 4 mm so gray area shows the difference is more than 5 mm in this area thank you so uh, once you have the spline you can directly export the file as a scl so there's no need of so there's no need of additional software for spline design or fix the scl file or something like that you can do everything here in the software itself and you can directly export the file as a scl for 3d printing now the next now the next step uh, next procedure is the reconstruction planning so uh, i'll explain this with the help of this small example so suppose uh, this this patient had a tumor here right and uh, the first part here is to resect this tumor so what you can do here is you can create the planes or you can create the datum planes or cutting planes uh, where you can resect the bone so as you can see in the third part i have resected the tumorous part and in the fourth step what i've done like i've mirrored the the correct part to this tumorous area so once i have mirrored that i got the uh, i got the curvature right so according to that curvature i can uh, i just need a curve so after this after the mirroring i just need to draw a curve which follows the the curvature of a mandible and the software will automatically create the bone fragments uh, and which is taken from the uh, your fibula bone so this is the whole reconstruction planning with fibula so right now it's only with fibula uh yeah and for this you need a ct scan for fibula and the cbct of the patient so this is the whole process i'll quickly show you a small video on this the first step is reconstruction uh, sorry resectioning so as you can see you are not only working on a 3d model you can also check your landmarks you can also check your planes in a 2d in a in a 2d plane also and whatever changes you are making in 3d it will uh, it will uh, it will reflect to your 2d model also it will reflect in your 3d uh, 2d model also so after the resectioning the next part is to mirror so this mirroring part will give me the 
the curvature of the bone. So once I define the once I define the curve here, it will automatically create the bone fragments. And this will also give you the uh, the dimension of the bone fragments and you can also change it uh, as per the requirement and the one point i want to add here is so as you can see these bone fragments right so using these bone fragments what you can do is you can also design a cutting guides for fibula you can design the cutting guide for fibula as well as for the mandible so uh, we can do the reverse engineering out of this so you can just export this file to a designing module which is thematic and uh, with the help of these cutting uh, with the help of these bone fragments and the planes you can do a reverse engineering and 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 draw a cutting guide Yes, so this was the plan, uh, pro plan reconstruction planning uh, for. Yeah. Now in in this slide, I'll be talking about the materialized mimics innovation suite. So, the software we have showed you just now, it's a pro plan software. It's for pre planning, correct? So now, once you have the pre planning part. Uh, if you want to design a cutting guide for fibula, or if you want to design an implant for your maxible, for mandible, or a customized plate. So for those applications, uh, we have a software called Mimix and Thrematic. So Mimix Innovation Suite, it's basically a suite of two softwares, under which we have two softwares called Mimix, which is help to convert the 2D model into 3D and thematic which helps to design a, a patient specific implant cutting guides and plates so here uh, what i'm showing is uh, so this is a typical workflow for medical 3d printing the process generally known as uh, reverse engineering in the engineering world uh, it starts with acquiring ct images or mri images uh, which is in a 2d data uh, as a as a dicom file the DICOM data then is uh, is then processed using the software in the next, this is the second slide, uh, second image, uh, using the software mimics and to create a 3D model of the anatomy. The 3D model is then imported to the design software called Thrematic, where you can extract the region of interest. So suppose in this case, uh, my region of interest is only IOTA. So what you can do is in the mimic software, you can convert that into 3D model and in thematic software, you can extract the region of interest and you can design if you want to design a stent for that or if you want to create a hollow model for 3D printing. So those those things can be uh, done using the 3D print, uh, using the thematic software. And after that, you can directly export the file for 3D printing. So you can also do the fixing operation there in thematic for STL fixing. And uh, you can directly 3D print that model and this 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 how it looks the final model so uh, our software is actually not only for the cmf like for every uh, this is uh, irrespective of the anatomy you are using so you can use the mimic software for any kind of anatomy whether it's a, a, a orthopedic cardiac cmf right so as long as the image is in a stack of uh, as long as image is in a 2D format, stack of images, as and uh, it's in a DICOM format. So you can uh, import it in the software and uh, convert that into that file into 3D. So 
there is a small workflow uh, how to design a customized cranial uh, plate using Mimic software. So the process basically start with the conversion of 2D model into 3D. You can also do some post processing like smoothing because for patient specific implant, you need a smooth structure. So those things are possible here. As you can see, this is a thematic software. So once the conversion is done, you can import it into thematic where you can design the implant. So right now, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, def I'm defining a defected area. I'm telling my software, this is the defective area and I want a plate here in this region. So once you define the defected area, so there's an automatic tool here to create the plate. Like this. Now the next part is to smooth the edges because we are going to print this in a uh, TI6AL4 that is titanium metal, uh, metal printing. So the edges should be smooth. So those operation can also be done here. So once you are happy with the model, you can just directly export the file as a 3D uh, as a 3D STL, and you can uh, import it there in the 3D printing software, and you can directly print it. So not only this, uh, you can also use Mimic software to create a lattice structure. So right now, because uh, if you see uh, the generic softwares, uh, they are not. Uh, they are not very lightweight in structure. Uh, the uh, lightweight, or uh, they are not very. Uh, they are also not a porous implant. They are a standard uh, surfaces, right? And it's very heavy. So what you can do uh, in Mimic software, you can also create the lightweight structure. You can also give some porosity. And there are some, uh, as I as I mentioned, like this software is irrespective of anatomy which we are going to use. Uh, as long as the image is, is visible, uh, the anatomy is visible in the CT scan, you can convert that into 3D. So you can also use this same operation for orthopedic. So these are some implants which you can uh, design using thematic and Mimic software. Okay, so uh, in, the, in the next slide, I'll be talking about uh, POC, uh, 3D POC. What is 3D POC? 3D POC is a uh, point of care 3D printing. So uh, in Materialize, we have this concept called 3D uh, point of care, where uh, where you can establish a 3D printing lab in the hospital, right? So you have a radiology department or you have a dedicated 3D printing lab where you can install the softwares for pre-planning for your uh, for designing of implants and you have a small desktop printer also so if you are just starting with so you can start with a small desktop printer like form lab or a ultimaker uh, printers and uh, where you can design a, a where you can design and print cutting guides splints and so this is the uh, hospital worldwide uh, who are using this facility so as you can see in US Canada, we have 113 
uh, customers uk 3148 in europe china 24 australia 9 like this so uh, these all uh, countries these all hospitals are using our uh, softwares for designing and the this concept this which is called 3d poc so these are some top 20 global partner hospital using materialized mimics technology for india we have right now we have uh, amrita institute of medical science india uh, who are using this 3d poc and also uh, kgmu uh, uh, in lucknow and aims delhi so they all are using this 3d poc concept where they have a 3d printing lab in house and they are using materialized mimics technology for pre planning for designing of implants and 3d printing so not only this we actually have a something called certification program so this certification program is uh, specifically for the uh, for the 3d printing companies so if us 3d printing company if they want us uh, if they want us certified if they want to get certified that they can print a biomedical uh, material uh, biomedical products like splints or cutting guides or a implant they need to get certified from materialize because materialize software is actually a fda and ce certified software so uh, these are some company which are certified from uh, our software or our company so statuses form lab hp and lt maker and also eos slm so these are some companies which are certified from mimix and they are uh, they can use the printer for bio uh, for the Uh, biomedical products for biomedical uh, implants splints and cutting guides so this is my last slide and here i would uh, i would i would show you our recent update of mimix viewer where we incorporate the virtual reality tool so mimix uh, mimix viewer allow you to complement your 3d printing activity with an easy to use accessible v vr mode and enable even before by remote collaboration between engineer and clinician okay so uh, this was the mimix viewer uh, mimix viewer help you to uh, so how basically it works so suppose if in your hospital you have a mimix software and uh, you design something or your design engineer design something and uh, they want your approval or uh, your colleagues approval so how you can do that so you can import uh, you can you can import that file that 3d model into the cloud and it will create a link uh so you you can send that link to your colleagues where they can see the model the 2d model and the 3d model in the cloud so there is no need of mimic software just to view that model they can also measure it they can also add comments um uh, so this will help to uh, to to get a quick uh, approval from from the end customer from the end surgeon who is going to perform a surgery and this mimix virtual reality it's a add on part in the mimix viewer and this will help you to virtually see and if you have a implant you can do a virtual simulation uh, a virtual simulation you can also implant a device inside the body and you can see how it react uh, you can also check the fitment so those things are possible uh, in the cloud so you don't need to have the software for this mimix viewer or virtual reality okay it's a it's a cloud based application yes this is from my end in case if you have any question um, you need a quick demo for the software or uh, you want to know the pricing of the software you can contact us so uh, ayushi bhan she is an account manager uh, for india market she handles the commercial or you can contact me 
uh, I handle the technical part and I'll help you with the demonstration. So in case if you have any question, you can ask me now. We have some questions for you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, from where I can? Yeah, Dr. Ashi wants to ask, uh, what is how is materialize different from Dolphin software? Yeah, that's a very good question because right now uh, most of the institute they are using Dolphin software. So the the first uh, thing is Dolphin is only for the orthognatic surgery and uh, for each and everything. Uh, you need to purchase a separate module for that. Uh, suppose if you if you want a splint design module, so splint designing, so you would need to purchase a different module for that. And uh, uh, in in Pro Plan, you don't need to do that. So it's a one stop software. So you can do uh, orthognatic where you can design the splint. Uh, you can do the fibular reconstruction. You can do the rest. Uh, distraction surgery, as well as you can also design the customized patient specific plates, implants, everything in one software, within a one software. But in Dolphin, it's only for orthognatic and that is uh, only for the planning part, not for the designing part. Plus, the second is uh, when you are doing a, a planning on 3D, uh, they use volume rendered model, not an actual STL file. But in our software, you are actually working on an STL file. So uh, the accuracy part is also altered if you are using a volume rendered model. Because that volume rendered model you will get uh, with, with any CT scan machine also. Like you have a CT scan machine, you when you scan it, you can also see a 3D model, right? But you can't print it because that's a volume rendered model. So the same thing, the volume rendered model, don't fin using the same software, uh, so same 3D model. But in our case, we are using the actual STL file, which is converting using Mimic software. So you can check the accuracy there and there only. So he wants to know how does how much does it cost? Sure, uh, sir. Actually, uh, recently we come up with a new pricing uh, for the ProPlan software. Earlier, it used to be a annual model, but now we come up with some perpetual thing. Um, Ayushi, my colleague, who handles the uh, the commercial part, maybe she can help you. So, what I can do, sir, uh, maybe uh, I actually have your contact details. So, I'll share your contact details with her, and we will share the pricing with you. Right. Hi, Gagan. Uh how how long does this uh, uh, i mean the software is valid for like dolphin had a validity for about 3 years before we had to subscribe for it again uh, so is it like it's like a year wise uh, membership model or how how does it how, how are the plan based look yes sir earlier we used to have this uh, annual model but now we come up with a perpetual model so uh, depending upon uh, your requirements so it's a we have 5 year plan we have 7 year plans so uh, suppose if you take a five years plan, after five year plan, you just need to pay the AMC. That's it. So it's, it's a perpetual model. So the one time purchase, and after five years, you just need to pay the small amount that is your AMC amount. That's it. So it's a one time purchase, you can say. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi, Kagan. Uh, Sugesh, I have a uh, with you. question. Like, uh, is... yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Uh, can the software be used like if you're planning a temporal mandibular joint surgery or if you're planning after surgery uh, to create a patient specific implant or in ZMC mm -hmm. or floor of the orbit area in these parts of the face uh, skeletal can we plan the surgery first on this particular software yes. and later patient specific implants or uh, joint uh, replacement that kind of a thing can it be yes, is it possible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. TMG surgeries are all possible in zygomatic implants, orbital floors. Those planning are also possible. Plus, implant designing is also possible. Okay. 
in this software and then reverse engineering we can do from that correct ma'am correct reverse engineering yeah okay. yes ma'am yes ma'am reverse engineering is also possible so first you can plan it like the start with the cbct conversion plan it and then the reverse engineering starts so you can use the same planes for cutting guides right so once you have that you can also design the implants within the same software thank you yes uh, we have another question how do we import stl files in ansys in ansys uh maybe you can check with the <laughs> desolt system so ansys is from desolt yeah so ansys is a separate software so there might be some option i'm not sure <laughs> right <laughs> but yes you can import the stl file here so uh, as i mentioned uh, uh, for the uh, surgeries like orthodontic surgery where uh, you need uh, teeth information also right and you have a intraoral scanner stl file so you can uh, import those stl file or obj file here in proplan yes dr adarsh raise the hand yeah okay so you can ask your question uh good evening can you hear me Hi, sir? sir yes yeah. sir yes sir just i wanted to ask you how different is your software from the brain lab software because uh, i think uh, the a uh, few people uh, have asked about the the orbital flow planning uh, temporomandibular joint planning in those software mm -hmm. we have prototypes uh, where you can uh, Uh, you, uh either do an a uh, patient specific or you have a prototype design which can be uh, uh imported and uh, used and uh, then later can be three, uh, 3d printed right mm -hmm. uh how different is this brain lab software from your software uh so brain lab software uh, uh, they have a library of this thing so you can't design anything from the scratch okay so suppose if i'm doing rtmg surgery there or if you are doing uh, intra uh, the the orbital surgery there they have a library you can choose whatever uh, the the plant suits there right and you can try to fit there okay so what are the, the customization is possible the only customization possible there is you can alter the size you can't design from scratch but in our software you can plan it plus you can design from the scratch so uh, in brain lab you can just uh you can play around with the with the size what are the different sizes available or what are the things you can change it there that's the only thing customizable in the brain lab software but our software is totally different you can uh plan it you can design everything from the scratch as per the patient anatomy yeah uh, is this compatible with the uh, intraop navigation and uh, uh, intraop imaging uh intra imaging so uh i'm i'm actually not uh, familiar with these things can you can you explain a little bit more about this uh, once we load the C ct scan on your system on your software mm -hmm. uh, will it get merged uh, if you are using an uh, intraop navigation because uh, yeah intraop navigation yeah okay so uh Uh, i'm i'm still not uh, navigation like to move the 3d model you say yeah the 3d model uh, will get uh, uh, fused with the patient's uh, ct data and right, uh, intraoperatively we can uh, use it to guide our surgery is uh, is the option available it is there in brain lab yes sir yes sir you can use that you can use that but there is no navigator required in our software sir. so you can just uh, do that whole thing the planning part using the mouse jagan uh, what dr adarsh is trying to say is that uh, during surgery a mm -hmm. real time a picture of the uh, ct model would be available and you can actually use a probe to identify where you are uh, when you're operating i don't think that feature is available in uh, okay area. navigation okay live during the live surgery no sir that is not available yeah. sorry yeah okay it is only pre op planning and uh, developing Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, do we have any other questions? So, Gagan, uh, 
uh, what what would you advise since you're a technical expert in this field and you know mm -hmm. you've been working with maxillofacial surgeons uh, like us and uh, in lucknow for a long time i mean what is your yes, unbiased sir. opinion as to someone who's a fresher who wants to start up a new maxillofacial setup and is planning to do a lot of resection surgeries and everything what would you advise as to what they should go for which is a complete package uh, and you know uh, we, we have a lot of uh, juniors who have just started uh, uh, you know setting up their own units in the several aims around the country so what would you advise them because an, unbi an unbiased uh, opinion as to how how and what should we go ahead with uh so uh i would suggest like uh, how i think uh, dr divya started uh, i think that was a good approach like start with the pre planning part first uh, where you start uh, where you can design the splint at least and uh, do the pre planning uh, for orthodontic or whatever the procedure you want to do and start with the pre planning and slowly upgrade it like after one year or after two years slowly upgrade it to the design thing so this is this can be a first approach or uh, the second approach can be you can start with pre planning plus at least guide designing only guide designing and and in the and after one year after two years when you have uh, uh, experience on the software side on 3d printing side then you can start with the customized implants like those things. Yeah, because uh, one of the problems which people face with using softwares like dolphin and everything that the learning curve is pretty steep it, it takes a lot of time to understand uh, how to use that software once you get the hang of it, it i mean even though we had it for some time but uh, frankly it was too tough but uh, on the other hand your software seems to be a bit more user friendly uh, to use uh, that's a, that's another thing because uh, if if you're not very uh, you know well versed with the system then you don't try to use it that much so uh, yes sir yes sir i completely agree with you sir because i know uh, you're very good with actual patients <laughs> not with virtual patients <laughs> the software thing and you and the surgeons can't give that much of time also yes. right so uh, that's why this pre planning software we specifically design for soft uh, for surgeons because we know uh, it's and, and it's a kind of semi automatic software so uh, suppose you are in osteotomy part right the software will automatically tell you so these are the landmark you just need to click and the software will automatically create the planes uh, for the reference maybe you can ask dr arjun from amrita institute uh, if uh, if you see his journey because they they had the software from two years they are now they are using the software from in last three years so in the first year they were they were like okay we have the software and we can use it only for the conversion but if you see now from last year onwards during the covid time they started using the software so now they are doing advanced cases using the proplan software and guide designing jigs design those things they are doing so uh, it's yeah it's a little bit uh, time is required but uh but, but the learning curve is not that much i would say yeah. in our software and also once you so purchase the software will be there for you uh, will help you with the personalized trainings uh for specifically for your as uh, your so your your requirement like what type of surgeries you are doing so specifically on that we can provide you the training so, so the normal dicom files that we use uh, mm -hmm. which we ask the patients to get done those those are good enough right or, or yes sir yes sir and the files uh, the cbcts that we get done are those also dicom files or there something yes sir, yes sir. those are also dicom files so, so from the CBCT, yeah even from a cbct scan you mm -hmm. we can import that data into your software yes sir yes sir okay so it's yes, it's flexible that way correct correct not only the dicom file as long as your images are in the form of stacks multiple images you can import it it can be a jpeg also okay. or your raw data also okay is is it possible to uh, like if we have mri scans which are static mm -hmm. uh, is it possible to recreate a, a video or a visual kind of movement of the tmj using those using your software that yes sir is it possible yes sir it, yes it's possible sir so that's that part is called soft tissue simulation okay. so where you can do you can simulate the soft tissue so what i mean is like the tmj like the joint which moves here so if we have the mri of the tmj uh can you simulate the movement like can it show can it move like a video uh, uh yes sir the exact movements of the joint yes sir you can see so after the resectioning uh, you can select so the process is first is the resectioning where you can cut the bone 
second part is to select the uh, your your so dmd if you don't, if you don't plan to re- if you don't plan to replace it if you just need to study a normal joint and if we have the mri of a tm joint and we put it on your software can we replicate the movements of the joint is that possible? no sir that's not possible it's, it's there's something called a dynamic mri in which uh, we take an mri with the joint in motion mm-hmm. so that helps us to understand uh, the basic uh, mechanism of what exactly how how the process how the joint is moved uh, yes sir if, if you understand what i'm like this is the planar force and this is the joint which moves so is that uh, we we cannot replicate that can we? uh so uh there are two things here first is uh when you said uh, if you have a normal static mri right yeah. uh, and you want to see the movement so if you are doing a pre planning in the software itself then you can see pre planning and post planning otherwise you can't and if you have a dynamic one so what you can do is you can convert that mri into 3d but it, in this case there will be two 3d so there uh-huh. Okay. you can see the motion but you can see the 3d model in different different positions Correct. like that. yeah so but, if you are studying but the initial file should be a three, should be a video file of the mri uh, yes sir so uh, when if it is a video file like it's a if it is a movement file or you can say a uh, 4d file. data set if yeah. you can say 4d data set right mm-hmm. so uh, you can convert that into 3d in different different phases so yeah. uh, there will be two type of or three type of images in every movement so you need to define that in the software itself and you need to convert that into 3d separately and uh, but you can't see the movement there. but okay. yes you will get the different different that is possible in your uh, software yes sir. yes yes great thanks for thank you thanks yeah thank you gagan <laughs> So, thank you so much ma'am thank you everyone yeah i don't see any other questions so, but a nice discussion very uh, nice brainstorming also by the participants that is good so uh, if any other question is there uh, i think they can uh, put up in the whatsapp group and we can share it with you sure ma'am sure sure can sure. do okay okay so, thank, thank you thank you one and all yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you so much.